Papa, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. And how are you doing with your work? You are fine, sir. Hope you are coping very well here, sir. Do we have choice? This is prison. When you are here, you live by people's rules. You don't have your rules. You don't have your freedom. Immediately you are in prison. Papa, how is Emeka? Emeka is fine. He sent his greetings. Why does he still not want to see me? I've forgiven him a long time ago. I don't want you to misunderstand that, son. Emeka is so ashamed of himself for all the evil he unleashed. And, uh, you know, he's having life. But one thing I know is that very soon he will. No, you have the boldness to speak with you. That's no problem. Papa, we miss you at home. My mother and everybody send their regards. We can't wait for you to come back. We pray that God grants you good health until the day you are out of here. My son, I can't wait for the day God will give me the opportunity to see my family again. I leave them for them to see that I am not a changed person. I leave for them to enjoy me for once in their life as a father. I ask for the boy and girl I captured to gain my wicked powers. I pray that they and their parents will forgive me. It's okay, Papa. We still love you and we are forgiving you. That's what matters. Thank you, my daughter. I can... Uh, I want to say this. I, I'm always happy to see you a, a principled man. A, 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 a man that knows what he wants. Um, a man that refused to follow the full step of his we get father. I'm very happy and I'm proud of you. You see, the fear of God is the beginning of any man's wisdom. I can see, I feel it in you. I'm very happy. You see, this world is nothing. I felt I am something and God reduced me to nothing to show me that I am nothing. God is everything. Just like what he did to Nebuchadnezzar. That's what he did to me. Look at me. The man that thought that he is God himself. I'm in jail. I am nothing. The power I thought I have failed me. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. And may God bless the two of you for me. Amen, Papa. Amen. I've told you several times. I don't want to see you pass through all this stress. Give me that broom, let me help you and sweep. Huh? We are Longinus. Is it not too early for you to start displaying your lack of sense? Why do you always come to my house to make a nuisance of yourself, eh? Because I love you. <laughs> See, let me tell you, there is nothing you say or do that will make me to get angry with you or hate you. <laughs> I will take everything away because of the love I have for you. Longinus, why is it so hard for you to understand that I don't love you? Why is it so hard for you to understand it and accept it? Eh? Because I don't believe you. If you don't love me, if not, tell me who do you love? What kind of a stupid question is that now? It is not stupid though. Because a beautiful woman like you cannot tell me that you don't have the love in your life in this village. If you don't love me, who do you love, if Longinus, 
if you're trying to imply that I don't have a man in my life, you're very much mistaken. Chineke. I do have a man in my life, and that means there's no space for you in it. Chineke Mo. <laughs> okay, see, I brought this bread for you. Just to show you that I can take care of you if I marry you. Hey. Especially made for you. See, honey, bake. Me, bread. Longinus, please leave my father's compound. Leave my father's compound right now. You mean you don't want this bread? Leave my father's compound as I'm telling you now. Please. But from the way I'm seeing you, it's like you look like someone that I've not tasted this kind of bread for a very long time now. My friend, leave here before I lay you. Come on, get out of here. You mean get out with your bread. I come. I don't want to see you here again. I don't want to see you here again. Do you hear me? What sort of rubbish is this now? Eh? Are you sure you don't want this bread? Is it by force to love again? Eh? Yeah. Let me see you in my company again. Fool. Unyava. Is there nothing that I can see? Chikama, I know you must have overheard I and Anjini is talking right now. So please, say whatever you want to say and let me continue with my sweeping. Biko, Organic okay, Kishokanko, what do you want to say? Hey, Sinaya, I have seen that you were sent to come and support this family, this family. I've forgotten me, I've seen it. No, 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 I've seen it. You were sent to come and support this family here. I've seen it all. I've forgotten me, no problem. Jehovah, Chikama, if you don't have any important things to say, just tell me. I will continue with my sweeping. You are a wicked sister. You the wicked. I don't blame you. It is God who gave you the face to attract all the men in this village. Even outside, they come and ask you, Simba. You block away and block my way. God will judge you. God will judge you. That's why God will judge you. What is this? What are you trying to say? Are you not my elder sister? Aren't you supposed to get married before I do? Uh huh. Ilya, yeah. good question. It is not my fault, though. It's God that gave you the face to attract men. It's not my fault. But my dear, if Nanya, calm one down. I will handle this is my way. I will handle it myself. It will make sense very soon. It will fail, I will see it. I don't have your time. I just don't have your time. I don't blame you. Now, if I back, they come, no. This one come, no. That one come, no. Whatever you call yourself. What's so funny? Why are you laughing anyway? Hey, look, if you want to talk to me, you better talk to me with some respect, okay? I am not your maid at all. Are you hearing me? Is it because you're standing by the roadside and be kissing one man? Mm, and you think you can talk to me anyhow? Let me tell you something. Tomorrow night, by 2 p.m. at night, come to my five star hotel room and watch me how I line up 10 men and kiss them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not this one. This one. This Alika. This one that looked like like one of the slaves in my hotel. <laughs> Honoro, what is wrong with you? Please leave us alone. They say you're a mad girl, but I'm beginning to suspect that you are just using this your madness to look for trouble. You know what? You better leave this place before I beat you black and blue now. Eh? What did you say? Beat me, Honoro. You want to beat me black and blue? You are finished. You are finished today. Let me tell you something. You think I don't know why you're saying all this rubbish? You think I don't know? Because I refused you when you came in last night to penetrate into my mansion. You think I don't know? <laughs> For your information, let me tell you. I have hired assassin. Yes, two assassin in my mansion. No more penetration in my mansion. <laughs> God forbid, me? Come for you for what? Eh? When I have my tasty and delicious yummy yummy ugochi here with me. 
Am I mad? And an apple, it be a chuggy. You be mad, my friend. You have been mad. See, so you don't even know that you are mad, though. You're a mad man, Joe. What am I even doing here? Talking to these mad people. Let me honor you, the queen of the universe. Better JJ go to my palace before the two of you will infect me with your madness. <laughs> Baby, you see, just calm down, okay? Don't mind that mad girl. Just relax, okay? Just relax, okay? Please, we all have to do something about her and her madness before she gets out of hand. What do you want to do with her, eh? What do you want to do with her? Do you think I don't see the way you were staring at her? At her waist when she was living, eh? Baby, see, it's true I love waist. I love waist very much, but not a mad girl's waist. Eh? How take any now? On your lack of book, even you can't. Eh? See, see, just calm down. In I fact, how can you even say that about me? Eh? How can a big boy like me, all the way from Lagos City, come here and belittle myself so low to a mad girl? Get one kiss I call the Laoka, please. Take your time, away, baby. Just relax. Let's continue what we are relax doing. Relax <laughs> Just leave me. Don't touch me again. Yay! Baby, come back now. Let's finish the business. Please. Baby! Ugoch! Hey! Omega. He think he can come to this village and use any girl he wants and dump them like that. Also, Chief Omeka, let me tell you, when you are ready to be a real man, not this, this one, come and meet me on Noro. I am the queen. I will teach you how to be the real man. Chief Omeka! <laughs> I meet with Chief Omeka. I am going to eat him and eat him. Mm. And I will vomit him and I will eat him again. Chief Omeka is a madman. Come out and face me now. <laughs> Chief Omeka is a madman. Oh. Where is Chief Omeka that says he's the lion of this village? wretched barren woman so you still have a voice to sing in this house it can only brabble eh? 
when will you and Ekene, my son, rise up to face reality and tell yourself the truth that things are not well between both of you? When? Have you gone dumb? Am I not talking to you? I'm sorry, Ma. Please forgive my indiscretion. I should have saved you your food a long time ago. Let me go and get it. May thunder strike you. In fact, may the God of our forefathers strike you and make you so miserable that no one will be able to take a little from you. Fool me. May, may you feed your father and your mother. Did I tell I want to eat food? We will put Mugin and Ria back and you know, you can hide and more of your left God. Ma, what have I done to deserve all these insults and insolence? What have I done? What haven't you done? A woman that cannot give me a grandchild can you follow me now? You're barren! Wretched, wicked, barren! Look at you! You will enter into the room with my son and come, come out empty. You may pop away, but I know who go. You know who I am? What can you deserve to this wretched thing? Don't even know if your, your, your mother gave birth to your picture along the road. So, you're so ugly. You fool. Let, 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 Nonsense. Let, let, let me hear it again from your mouth. It's yours. It's just, I, I told you. Hey! She like me. She like me. Omega! Oh you're out of prison. How? When? My love, <laughs> honey, my love. Ah, you're back. He is back, oh. She for Mecca is back in this village. Only God knows what He has brought back for us this time. As for me, Onoro, I am not going to sit in this village and say what the great king of mad people is going to do to us. <laughs> oh no! I'll just take a straight bus and go to the London. Oh no! Yes. no. Uh, London. All my these bus. Ladies, you are, you, you, you are just <laughs> spreading all over everywhere. Who told you people Menka is back? I don't even know how 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 come such small small girl just got mad like that. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no! You are getting to something else. You're a madman. You don't know. Chibo Menka has gone and bring us. Stop! Mad. Stop! Come on, please stop. I don't even know what I'm even doing. Chibo Mecca is back to us, so I will go to London today, today, today by bus. Get my passport and go to London by bus. Where are my wives again? Father, I had to let them go. What? You had to let them what? What are you talking about? Father, you had six wives and numerous concubines before you went to jail. You don't expect me to leave all of them here? You want all of them to stay in this compound all these years with me and my wife? Your wife. So you and your wife. That's the problem I'm having in my own house. Or were you praying for me to die in prison, my son? Father, you have just come back from prison. Why don't you follow me? Let's go inside so my wife will make you food. Then you refresh and get some rest. <gasps> it's funny you talk about me and rest. When you have succeeded in scattering all, I, I, I left behind before I went to prison. You know, sometimes I, I ask if actually you are my son. Father, why, why do you talk like this, father? What huge evil have I done? I visited you in prison constantly with my wife. So don't talk as though I abandoned you there. Get me my wife's and all that I left behind before I entered prison. Then I will answer your question. I believe there's one question you'll have an answer to right away. Where is my brother Emeka? Emeka died. Three months ago. So how did he go? 
Did your father tell you why he has been hostile since he came back? My elder brother, Emeka, is dead. Jesus! When? How? My father only told me he died three months ago in jail. That's the reason he has been hostile towards everyone. I'm so sorry about that. But how come I have not received this corpse since he died three months ago? Kiru, you asked so many questions. I just told you what my dad told me. Why don't you go upstairs and prepare something for us to eat? Maybe when he's done eating, he'll have enough strength to say more. Okay. Sorry about that, eh? It's all right. Darling. I'm sorry about the loss of your brother. But don't you think it's high time we move out of this compound and go and get to our own place? Nkiru, this is not the time to discuss this. I just lost a brother. Go and make food. We'll talk about this at a more convenient time. Okay. I don't want him. I'm so tired of Charlie and his antics. So, did he makes me suspect that he's cheating on me? How many times would I want you to stay from that guy? All the city boys that come to this village only plays on us, and when they are tired, they leave us and run back to the city girls. That is true. That is true. But my problem is that I love this guy so much, and I want him to marry me. You love Charlie? I told. And you want him to marry you? Yes. Who told you Charlie is the type that is ready to settle down anytime soon? He told me he will marry me very soon. That's what he said. And you believed him? Yes. I believe him because he loves me as much as I love him. Chai, then you are a very big fool. Hey. Seriously, ah, you are so stupid that you should be living in the bush with the animal. Oh no, wait though. With the way you think, even the animal might have to chase you out for being more stupid than they are. Hey, 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 Stop it there. What's the meaning of all this insult? What now? Insult is what you get if you believe Charlie. Can't you see the way he dresses, dresses himself, can't himself about in this village? He's not going to marry you. Charlie is the most rampant sketch chaser I've ever seen in my life. Sketch chaser? Adai, has my Charlie eh, ever chased you before? God forbid. Are we mates? Hi, we are not mates, my dear. Hmm? He has looked at me. And seeing that I'm not the kind of girl he can play with. Now I see. Hey, Adawani, you should have told me that you are jealous of me and Charlie now. Hey, jealous, Ipwa. You should have told me that you're jealous because I am with Charlie and you're with that you useless Ozo that has never stepped his feet out from this village. Eh? Uh -uh. Ogochi, watch it. Please don't insult my man. I've been insulting your man, eh? All this one you've been doing, what are they, eh? Look at you, useless friend. I should have known that you're jealous, eh? Yeah, I should have known. Useless and stupid friend. Come on, get out of my sight and let me see better things. Come. Oh, what is it? Why are you standing out here preening at yourself like one peacock? What's going on? I'm here waiting for my sweetheart to come. It should be here by now. I don't know why it's not here yet. Sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Chikama. Don't tell me you are still talking to Charlie. Uh -huh. Charlie, what is wrong with Charlie? <laughs> Kamwage, Charlie is a very, very handsome man. He lives in the city, Lagos. When he gets married to me, he will go to Lagos. He will take me out of this nonsense village life. I go there and live in 
affluence and wealth. You got half here. Chai, I pity you. How are you sure Charlie went to Lagos? What if, if he has stopped at Onichawa Wasaba? Eh? Why are you allowing this small boy to play you like this, eh, Chikama? You're supposed to be my elder sister, yet you behave way beneath what I expect of you sometimes. Leave me like this. I love my life. Like Apple Marker like this. I like him, yeah? I like myself like this. At least I'm not you who is loving one man that doesn't care about her. I'm not pinning to a man. I love myself. Apple Marker. Don't go there. Don't just go there. Don't dare go there. Why? Because I've touched a nerve. Why are you angry, my dear? I will say it because you're loving Ekene, who is married to your friend, Inkiru. You're here then over, over self pity. I go talk, I'm going to Sorry, oh. Ne. Sorry, Ndo. It's my fault. I was the one who asked you why you were standing out here behaving like a teenager. Eh? Are you leaving? Come back. Come back. Come, oh. Come, let me give you the way it is. Come back. Let me just tell you your story. Come back. Where are you going to? Come here. We are Cheba. Poknoza. I'm a boy. Come and stand here now. Hey, baby. Hey. My bobo, Charlie. Hey. My sweet potato. Hello. <laughs> the apple of my eyes. The only ice cream of my life. But baby, why did you keep me waiting now? Eh, why? I I've been here waiting for you since. Why? I'm so sorry, baby. I stopped by by the road to pick up something very special for you. Eh. Hey. Yes. Hey. hey. What is that? Just hold on. Calm your nerves. Okay. Calm your nerves. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Here. From the heart that cares. Have this. From the heart that cares. What is this, Kwanu? What? Flower was specially picked for my princess, you. What kind of... What did you pick for me now? What is this? What is this now? I don't like it. Oh, you see what I hate about you, village girls? I picked up flowers for you, and you're not showing any form of appreciation. If it were in the city, the girls by now would be kissing me. In fact, I'm out of here. Hey, wait, wait, wait now. Uh -uh. Calm down. Charlie. Hey. Charlie, Charlie. My bobo. Don't worry. I'll take it. <laughs> now you come. Uh, uh, come, let me take you inside. I made a wonderful soup for you. Like it. After that, I will kiss you and kiss you until your lips will beg for mercy. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yes. I trust you. Charlie! That's my baby. <laughs> I trust you.
you are looking good. I'm, uh, I'm glad at least one of us is being taken good care of. Thank you, my husband. I am very, very happy that you, you are here to visit me. Because for a long time now, nobody has come to visit me. Even my first wife, Chinaza. I hope uh, everything is okay. Everybody is fine. It might be all is well. Mm -hmm. What of Ekene? Ekene, my son, is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is something I find out. All this why, as you are speaking, you are sighing. Is there any problem? You are, you are sighing. Um, my husband, you see, I. There's something I really need to tell you. And. It has been a burden in my heart for a very long time. And it's a secret I've kept for a very long time. And you have the right to know the truth before it gets too late. A secret you've kept too long and you want to tell me before it gets too late? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Um, honey, you know, I suffered so much after you married me. and I wasn't able to conceive. Even after five years, I couldn't conceive. So I had to do something uh, before you and Chenasa, your first wife, will kick me out of the house. Well, I, I don't like the sound of what you're saying. I, I don't like the sound of this story. What What are you driving at? Uh, is there Kenny, my son? What about him? Uh, Kenny is not. Is not your biological son. What? It's an affair I had with a stranger. Uh, that day I left the house going to that bush market. It's just that day. And me and the stranger. It's just, I didn't even, since that time I've not seen the stranger again. That man. Is a Kenneth's father. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Uh, Who is here? Someone should come and take this woman away from this, this prison. Who is here? Come and take her away because I'll kill somebody here. I'll kill somebody here. Now what do you want? I came to ask my husband what he would like to eat. I want you to know I desperately hate you. I would like to kill you. Put my fingers on your neck and use the finger to break all the bones that are holding your neck. And I would like to see you sleep in bed. And the best thing that will happen to you is to get out of this place before you experience that. Hi, Commander. You want to kill me? Eh? Okay. If killing me or uh, breaking my neck, as you said, who make you become the real man that you were before you went to jail. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and kill me. Don't patronize me. Don't you dare patronize me. I don't need it. I don't need to patronize. I'm not even in the mood to patronize you. There's one thing you are supposed to realize by now. If you want to kill me, eh? Go ahead and kill me and become the real man that you are. Because as you see me, I'm even tired of this wicked world. What is wrong with me taking care of you? What's your problem? Oloma, I beg you with whatever I hold sacred, leave me alone. 
I don't need you. I don't want you. Just leave me. Forget anything that holds us together. That stupid thing that is called marriage. Forget that stupid thing that is called marriage that holds us together. I don't need it. You know why I'm telling you this? Because I don't want to kill you. Or you killing me because I know you are evil. See, there are Omega. I don't know uh, what happened. I don't know how you did it and you came out uh, and you came out of prison so soon. I don't know how you managed to do it all. This thing that brought you out, I believe is God. It's God that gave you a second chance. So you can correct all the wrongs you did against your own people. So you can do things, make things right. But as for you saying killing you or whatever, me leaving this house. Chifuya, it's not going to work. What, what is it? Look at your so-called first wife, Chinasa. Ran away. And all those girls, they ran. I stayed behind to take care of my loving husband. Come on, my side, you idiot. Who's your husband? Evil. You speak like a woman, but you are evil. You are devil. Hey! Let's, huh? let's not be careful with my, uh, my hands. You can tap a wooden den on. I'm not an ome winsu. Oh, can I see chair? Be careful. Oh, can I see chair? Do the charm of a moon.
Nkiru, my friend, how are you today? If I am not fine, please, can I talk to you? You know I don't have too many people who like me in this village. Ever since I married my husband. Especially girls of our ages. I have told you several times to stop, stop thinking about what people think about you. What should matter to you should be if you are happy or not. Huh? Easier said than done. My dear friend, everywhere I go in this village, all I see is young girls and parents looking at me as if I'm a devil. All because I married a man they all wanted. I did not beg to fall in love with Ekeneo. Neither did I beg him to propose to me. We both fell in love with each other and he proposed to me. You sound more disturbed than I've ever known you to be. Tell me, what seems to be the problem? Chief Omenka is back from prison. What? Chief Omenka is back? When? Today. Are you serious? That man was supposed to be in jail longer than this time now. Eh? That man used wicked charm to hold our people to ransom and hostage. Ah, he should have been in jail longer than this time now. Eh? I don't know. If only I don't know anything. I don't know. <sighs> what about that his son? Um, what's that his name? Emeka? That one that took after his father's wicked ways and made life miserable for everybody in the village and beyond. He's dead. He died in prison. prison. Hey, thank God. Hey, thank God. Finally, finally we'll have peace of mind in this village. And, but Como, you're still sad. What is it? If only I don't know. I don't know what my father's in-law return will mean to me now. My mother-in-law has made life very miserable for me ever since I got married to my husband. And now that Kifumeka has returned, he's going to join the fray against me. Fray against you? Why do you think Kifumeka will join in making life miserable for you? I don't know. I'm left alone in this world. The only person I have right now is my husband. And I love him so much. I don't know what... I don't know what will become of me. If he leaves me alone. Haban Kiro, I have told you to stop thinking like this. Eh? Stop thinking like this. Moreover, I think... Chief Omenka must have learned his lesson in prison. Eh? He must be a changed man by now, you know. So stop thinking. I know so. I know so. Ne? Come, let's go and eat this yam that I prepared this morning. Okay. Eh, come. If I am not hungry, you made the food for yourself now. Don't worry. Doesn't I don't want to eat. Come, let's eat it, my friend. Come. Don't worry. It will be enough for both of us. Come. Just um, wait a while, okay? Give me some time. Nkiru! 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 
Sorry, it's like my wife is not around. I'll, I'll run around to fix things for you myself. Wife? But you never told me you were married, eh, Ofuma. My name is not Ofuma. My name is Ekene. Of course. Whatever you now call yourself is fine by me. Anything from you will be very nice. See, eh, I'm not even worried that you're married to another woman. It doesn't matter to me at all. Okay. I'll be back. Give me some time. Hello. Hello. Who are you looking for? Oh, I'm here with my husband, Ofuma. He just went inside to get me something to eat and drink. Ofuma? Who is he? Okay, um, there we go. Nkiru, mm. you're here? I, I went out to get something. Okay. Who's she? Nkiru, um, this is... Um... Oh, you're Nkiru. Ofuma's wife he just told me about. Well, my name is Kachi and I'm Ofuma's second wife. See, you don't need to bother yourself at all because I'm going to make you happy as the second wife. You are... what? What, what are you... eh? Isigini, what's this one saying? What, what are you talking about? Eh? What are you standing here doing? Brooding? Won't you make me dinner? Dinner? You want dinner from me or the new wife you just brought into our house? You know sometimes in Kiri you get so much on my nerves I feel like doing something rash. What's the meaning of this? Ekene, I, I should be asking you that question. I am the one that needs some explanation. I am the one that came home and met a strange woman in our house. Ekene, what is going on? Good question. And you were not patient enough to even ask my own side of the story before storming out? Oh, maybe I should have jumped on you and your new wife. Or perhaps make a very tasty meal for the both of you before you give me proper decorum. Shut up! Shut up before I, I, I slap some sense into you! Shut up! Kira, allow me to explain. I do not know this lady. I was just sitting there at the stream and there she walked in weakly and sickly. I wouldn't even have talked to her. I wouldn't even have noticed her were she not trying to drown herself. I had to rescue her. Now I believe God put me there at that time for me to rescue her. Else she would have been dead by now. Where is she from? I don't know. All she told me was her name was Kachi. And then, that I was her husband, Ofuma. I think that girl is sick. She, she, she has some memory loss or something. I think she needs help. Lovely. Beautiful. Do you want me to clap for you? I don't understand. What? No, I should be clapping for you, Ekene. Sometimes I wonder what runs through this brain of yours. You bring a girl with memory loss into our house? Someone you barely know? What if she's a criminal? What if she was, she's caught from her family or her village? What if she has some sort of disease that could be... Could, could be Enough! Enough of this very unreasonable sarcasm! That girl there seems to me like someone who needs help. And we're going to keep her here until she gets herself together. That's whether you like it or not. Excuse me. Hi. Baby, you are beautiful. I know. Very, very pretty. Look <laughs> at your pointed nose. 
Mm-hmm. I feel <laughs> like <laughs> chewing it. You're kidding me. It's too bad. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. It's me. Charlie, la aku aku. Yes, playboy. You've been here since morning. Is it not about time you leave this place? Ah. Hey! Bia Ifunaya! What is this now? Why are you here? Eh? Bia Chikama, please! Please! Don't just... Don't just say anything! Respect yourself this evening, no? Do you understand me? Respect yourself or else I will do something both of us will regret. Shall I wait? What you will do that will both regret? In this house, I'm your sister. In this same house. What the car? You are mad. You're mad! Baby, please, please, okay? Don't get angry with her. Just forgive her. Eh, hey, eh, hey, no, forgive her? No, let me do her once and for all now. Forgive her what, Kwano? This girl, it happy here. She will do things you don't explain this out. And because you let her do, she keep doing them. No, eh? no, baby, just calm down, okay? No, don't do her any harm. You know, she's just a small girl. Eh? Eh? And you know what? You also have to consider the fact that she doesn't have... <laughs> Charlie? She doesn't have any man of her own here. Charlie? Me tonda! May thunder strike you there. In fact, may leprosy visit you right now. Jesus, Navas of Man City. Me, leprosy visit me. What did I do or say for you to rain these curses on me? Eh? If Unanya. Get out of this compound, Charlie. Yay. Leave this compound right now. If our father were to be alive, would you still be here by this time of the day? Eh? Leave right now, Charlie. He is not going anywhere. He is my man. And very soon we'll get married. Once you are married, we'll stay here together. Because I'm the first in this house, it is my right. Do you understand? He is my man. Hey, Chikama, what is wrong with you? You are who is standing where? There is no way I can stay in any village after getting married. When well, you know I can go to big cities like Paris, London, and New York to enjoy myself and the rest. <laughs> London! Paris! Of course not! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, lady. No wonder my sister is jealous of you. Yes, so. You know, because you know I'll be a big city babe. A very big one. <laughs> a very big one. I will make you a model in this village. Ooh. I'm telling you. Oh, you know what we're going to do now? Mm -hmm. Let's go in front of your compound and have more fun. She should know by now that she cannot stop us from having fun. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's go. Okay? <laughs> uh -uh. Baby, kiss me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Save my sister from this boy's hand. I have tried my best. Please, Lord, please. Hey! still love me as much as I do. I love you so much. And I'll always love you till I die. It's just that I'm worried about everything happening around me and my future. How do you mean? I can I am not a happy woman at all. I have been married to you for three years now. And I have never gotten pregnant for you. Not even a miscarriage. All through this period, your mother has been on my neck. And while I was hoping for the best, your father is so faced, unannounced. With all this development, I you expect me to be happy. I am not. I am not done yet, my husband. 
a lot has happened today that has made me apprehensive of what my tomorrow would be. Aside from the fact that your father returned from prison without announcing, we have a strange girl in our house. I can know all this is too much for me now. It's too much for me. It's too much. Are you done now, my wife? Yes, I'm done. Now listen to me. And listen good. I loved you and that's the reason I married you. I still do love you. Which means I should be the one you're concerned about. Worry yourself about the way I relate with you and not my father my mother, brother, or even the whole world. I am the important person here, not the rest of the world. I love you, Kiro. I, I love you more than life itself. Again, I love you too. I love you so much. But there is one thing I would want you to do for me so that I can have peace of mind. Anything for you to have peace of mind. Please send the girl away first thing in the morning. Just give her anything. Money, food, anything. Just send her away. I have a very nasty feeling about her. Is that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Granted, Thank tomorrow you. she goes. Thank you so much. God will bless you for me. Amen. Thank you so much. Oh God. I love you. I love you more. I can Ekene, it shall never go well for you. Your life shall fill with misery all through. Joy. Joy shall never know your dwelling place. As for you, love man. Oh, no, ma. your son shall be your death. Your punishment will soon come. For all the pains, all the sufferings that you have made me pass through since Omenka, my husband, was taken away to prison. You will all die a miserable death. You. You. You and your son. and pain to Uloma and her son again. Let them see a miserable and painful death. Uloma. Uloma and Dekele. May you never see peace in your lives. May sorrow and pains be your death. Daily bread. You shall never know peace. 
God, I beg you to bring them a miserable and painful death. I beg you, God. But I want to prepare a very delicious pepper soup for the king, my husband. <laughs> oh no! What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? My crown! What do you want from me? Eh? Just eh? calm down, okay? You had better leave this place now. now before I call my guards to come and eat you up, roar like a fish. Calm down. Guards! Come and let me show you what I'm sure you've been missing since you got mad. I promise to be gentle. Very gentle. I promise to go in gently and come out gently. You won't come and shop me, Honor, in my palace. Guards! No. Who are these my guards? No way. I'm not God! I have come to chop you and I must chop you. I don't care whether you are mad or not, okay? I must chop <laughs> you this time. I must <laughs> chop you. I must chop you. No way. I'm not going anywhere. Oh! Oh! Huh? Hey. You, you want to come and chop me? I have come back. Come back here. Oh, 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 Can you imagine? Me, Odoro. Where are you coming from by this time of the night? I went to the farm to pick some vegetables for us to cook, only to come back home before you. <laughs> my mom, madam, please excuse me. I want to go in and rest from a wonderful, fun, loving day with my bubble. Charlie, Bobo Lagos, you know, I don't have time for such talks. Chica, mom. Please, come, let us talk. Let's talk. Talk about what? Eh? Please, if it's not important, just tell me now. Egota, because I, I need to go and sleep and have a wonderful night's rest. Because tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm going to shop. I want to go and buy some clothes with the money my Bobo gave to me. Egota, my Charlie Bobo, you understand? It is important. Let us talk. Eh? I won't waste much of your time. 
Bikon. Okay. Hmm. What, in fact, what is it? What's the matter? Chikama, you know you're my loving sister and my only family. All I want is your happiness. That's all I want right now. Hope you know that. I know, but sometimes you can be very stubborn. You know that. Thank you for saying that. I know you may be thinking that I keep rejecting all my suitors because of Ekene. But that is not true. Yeah? It, is, it is a fact that I used to like Ekene. But that was before he chose someone I call a friend. All the feelings I have for him are now in the past. Hmm? Oh, if you say so, I am telling you the truth. What I want for you right now is for you to look for a very responsible man to marry. Not someone like Charlie who is clearly clearly a playboy. Eh hey, hey, eh, Ozugo Chai, hold it there. Stop it. End of this. Don't even go there. Bia, 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 bia. If you keep saying stupid things about my bobo, my Lagos Charlie, one name, keep your mouth shut. Do you understand me? Shut up your mouth. Don't get me angry. Yo. Don't try it. Chikama, please. I beg you. I want you to look for a responsible man to marry. Charlie is not the one for you. Please. I beg you. Charlie will just use you and dump you like that. I am begging you. Biko, just go and bring one man. Ofu, just one. Bring him home. Let me see him. Mfuya, my darling, I will just listen to what you have to say to me. Wholeheartedly. I will listen to you. Do you understand? If not, rubbish. What kind of trouble is this? Am I just going to sit down and watch the woman I love? To leave me because of my sister? Hey, after all, when she was in money and married to a rich and powerful man, she didn't even look my way at all. I don't know what to do now, but I must find a way to get Grace to my side, even if it means kicking my sister out of my house and alive. Yes! I can't afford to lose Grace. No, never. Never. Good evening, sister. How are you today? Fine, oh, welcome. Yeah. You took so long today. What happened? You're right, sister. I would have been back earlier. Had Kiri not come to visit me just by the time I was running up work. <sighs> that one, in Kiriokwa. What has she come to do this time? Oh, she came to cry upon your shoulders for a childless over three over three years, isn't it, sister? Please be gentle with her. You know she's my friend and I like her. Besides, after the death of her father, you know she has no close relative to call her own. Hey, sometimes say eh, I used to wonder the kind of person you are. Are you sure we have the same blood through these veins? Me and you? I don't think so. Because do you remember that this girl went away for so long and she just came back to the village and snatched the most handsome man in this village? You know what I call nonsense? Up here? Mm hmm. Is that her fault? Is that enough reason to crucify her? Will you shut up your mouth? Man, shut up. Do you know I was here on my own? No? Having my day wonderfully made. It be a common sense who can brew rubbish of that to be getting killed. Mind yourself. No. Chikama. I like Tekene and we were friends. I was the one hoping that he was going to propose to me and marry me before he chose to kill. So should I kill myself because of that? Good question. Let me ask my own. Answer me. Since you, you lost that, Ekene, 
How many young men have been here to ask for your hand in marriage? <laughs> eh, eh, no, that one is good. Even me, even me. How many of them are here to, 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 to ask for, for marriage? Ask me the question. <laughs> I don't understand you. Are you trying to tell me that after Ekene, I will not see another man to marry me? Or you for that matter? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not laughing, it's not funny. What I am saying simply is that that girl in Kiru is not a good girl. She's ill luck. I don't like that girl. I like Romia. I don't like that girl. Anyway, she's my friend and I like her. I don't care what anybody says. Period. I like her. She's my friend. I wonder if the same blood was in her face. I don't know where they're from, oh. I like her. Hey! Get busy! This is my I am very happy. I am very happy you have told me the right thing to do. And that's what I am going to do. That's what I am going to do. I will go to your people and tell them that they gave me a high lot for a wife. And I will tell them everything and I will discuss you. I will discuss you. I will discuss you. You will not disgrace me. You end up disgracing yourself. Eh? And if you don't tell anybody again, it's not your biological son. Then I'll tell them that you're incapable of uh, impregnating a woman. What did you just say? What did you just say to me now? Uh, you heard me very well. You are sterile. You can't get a woman pregnant. Emaro. You lie, you idiot. You are a liar. You fool. Oh, stop this killing. Ha, enough of it. I'm tired of that word. Instead of it, you ask me why I said you can't impregnate a woman. You're here making noise like a, a spoiled child. I'll be serious for once. Now, listen. I don't want to continue listening to your stupid talks. I will not listen to you again. But all I want you to know is that I know you are evil. I know you are wicked. I know you are planning to do evil. But you can never get me down. Me? In, in that case, I will not be the one to to tell you that Emeka is not even your biological son. <laughs> huh? His own is even bad. Chinasa, your wife, went out there. Saw a girl that was pregnant. Omara went to me. The girl just gave birth. Paid the girl. Collected the maker. Bastard boy. She doesn't know the father of that child. My own Ekene is my biological son. I know the man that did it. Come on, man. You are evil. You are wicked. You are heartless. Uh, wait, wait. Did you say wicked? Me, wicked and evil. Hey! Oh my God. Have you forgotten how wicked that you, that how wicked you are? You are wicked to your own people. In fact, that's even a small one. You are so wicked that you are snatching people's wives from their husbands. Snatching girls from their parents. Keeping them here as slaves. Using them as your sex toys. And you're standing here telling, but you cannot know. Leave that nonsense. Stop saying that. Oh. Don't get me angry. Come on. Come on. 
Ano lom no wajo kumu. Ano lom no wajo kumu. Now get out of this place. Get out or you die. I'm not get out. Only stop shouting. Ah. Manya we we. Calm down. Abu Loma, go with your news. Abu Loma, I said shut up. I'll kill you. Stop shouting for Christ's sake. This is a bedroom. How are you even killing yourself about Emeka? Emeka is dead now. I'm hey. talking to you, are talking. Though, uh, you and your bastard son were in prison together. Some people saw you up here. Uh -huh. But she, the guy is dead. Hey. <sighs> Honey, <laughs> that is not even the main thing. Hmm. Uh, Honey. Okay. He, he, he got that one. I enjoyed the last night. I enjoyed the last night. I enjoyed you. I never knew you were still strong like this. I said, You are killing me slowly. You are killing me slowly. You are killing me slowly. No, you are sexy. Don't worry, let me go and get you food. Don't worry. Ah. Hey! My husband is still a man. Shoo! <laughs> Guys, <must> pass. <laughs> I am a poison. My husband. I am full of poison. I am more of Hey! You are so strong. You can marry up on the floor. Let me get you food. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Joker. 